When two immensely powerful figures crossed paths, an extraordinary love story emerged, one whose echoes would resonate throughout the corridors of time. Forever imprinted in history's tapestry is the union of Julius Caesar, the indomitable Roman general, and Cleopatra, Egypt's last and perhaps most intriguing pharaoh. Together, they spun a narrative that has, for millennia, entranced and bewildered those who dare delve into its depths. Today, we embark on a journey through this tale, painted with ambition, desire, and undying passion. Visualize this scenario. The year is 48 BC. Egypt, a land of mysteries and marvels, beckons the Roman general, Julius Caesar. His mission? A relentless pursuit against his formidable adversary, Pompey the Great. After facing defeat at the Battle of Pharsalus, Pompey seeks refuge in Egypt, hoping for sanctuary. However, in a twist of fate and a desperate attempt to gain Caesar's favor, Ptolemy XIII, the then reigning pharaoh of Egypt, decides on a drastic course of action. He orders the beheading of Pompey, subsequently presenting his severed head as a grotesque offering to Caesar. Far from being appeased, Caesar is aghast at this grisly token, viewing it as a severe betrayal. As he navigates Egypt's intricate political maze, destiny has a momentous encounter in store for him, a rendezvous with the enigmatic Cleopatra, a name that evokes visions of grandeur, allure, and intrigue. As the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt, she wasn't one to be overshadowed. In an audacious move, she has herself smuggled into Caesar's residence in Alexandria, ingeniously concealed within an ornate carpet. As the carpet unfurls, revealing the majestic queen, Caesar is rendered almost spellbound, not just by her unparalleled beauty, but her sharp intellect and magnetic aura. The queen wasn't just a figurehead, she was an embodiment of shrewd strategy, immense wisdom, and an uncanny ability to communicate in a myriad of languages. Her formidable reputation was built on wit, charm, and a fierce independence. But Caesar was her equal in every sense, a conqueror with charisma that could sway masses and a tactical genius that had seen countless victories, amassing unparalleled wealth and influence for the Roman Empire. Despite his vast conquests, nothing could prepare Caesar for the force of attraction he felt towards Cleopatra. Their cultural exchanges, diverse backgrounds, and shared thirst for power and politics ignited a flame that would not be easily extinguished. It seemed the universe itself conspired to draw these two unparalleled entities into an inescapable vortex of passion. Their love wasn't without challenges. A significant age gap separated the two. Caesar at 52, and Cleopatra, a youthful 22. Yet, they found common ground in their ambitions. Caesar played a pivotal role in aiding Cleopatra to reclaim her throne from the clutches of her treacherous brother, Ptolemy XIII. Together, they engaged in a tumultuous civil war, climaxing with the Battle of the Nile in 47 BC, which saw Cleopatra reinstated as Egypt's rightful ruler. During their union, they welcomed a son, Caesarion, into the world. However, their liaison was not without its share of controversies. Caesar's existing marriage to Calpurnia and his audacious decision to bring Cleopatra to Rome led to an uproar among the Roman elite. The political machinations intensified when Caesar declared Caesarion as his heir, stoking the fires of dissent within Rome. Tragically, in 44 BC, the Roman Senate orchestrated a brutal assassination of Caesar. Devastated, Cleopatra sought to fortify her position and secure her son's legacy. She allied herself with Mark Antony, Caesar's loyal general. But destiny had other plans. In 31 BC, they faced a debilitating defeat at the hands of Octavian, Caesar's adopted son, at the Battle of Actium. Cornered and desolate, both Cleopatra and Mark Antony chose the path of self-destruction, with Cleopatra resorting to the deadly bite of an asp and Antony ending his life with his blade. Their son, Caesarion, met a tragic end at the tender age of 17, executed on Octavian's decree. In the annals of history, few tales are as poignant, captivating, and evocative as that of Julius Caesar and Cleopatra. Despite the storms they weathered and the tragic end they met, their story remains an eternal testament to love's power and the indomitable spirit of two of history's most influential figures. 
As we conclude this journey, one thing remains clear. In the vast annals of history, amidst tales of kings and warriors, poets and prophets, the tale of Caesar and Cleopatra will forever shimmer, casting a luminous glow on the ever-evolving story of humankind.